SpaceX is all set to launch its Crew-1 mission to the International Space Station, which is the first operational mission of the SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft. The Crew Dragon spacecraft, Resilience, expected to launch on 14 November 2020, will carry NASA astronauts Michael Hopkins, Victor Glover, and Shannon Walker, along with JAXA astronaut Soichi Noguchi, to the space station. The Falcon 9 rocket for the Crew-1 mission arrived at Cape Canaveral, Florida on 14 July 2020. Crew Dragon capsule, C-207, arrived at SpaceX processing facilities in Florida on 18 August 2020. The launch was initially scheduled for October 31, but was postponed to November, following an engine anomaly on a different Falcon 9 rocket. On October 2, an engine problem triggered an automatic abort just before liftoff of a Falcon 9 rocket, which was expected to carry a GPS navigation satellite for the U.S. military. The abort occurred immediately after sensors detected an unusual pressure rise in the gas generator of two Merlin engines, just two seconds before liftoff. As you can see right now, it's T minus two seconds. We did not get to T minus zero. We heard the call out of an abort. They're currently safing the vehicle. We're going to be listening to hear if we can get some more information. A later investigation by the SpaceX team found a blockage in a narrow line leading to a relief valve on the gas generator. A vent port, which measures just 1 16th of an inch wide, was obstructed by a hardened masking lacquer. Liquid lacquer, similar to red nail polish, was used by a third-party vendor that anodizes aluminum engine components for SpaceX. The lacquer protects certain parts of the engine during the anodizing treatment process, but the vendor is supposed to remove the material before shipping the components to SpaceX. After analyzing a wide range of Merlin data, SpaceX found signs of a similar issue with two of the engines in the Crew-1 Falcon 9's first stage. The SpaceX team then replaced them with two new Merlin engines. This incident pushed the launch of Crew-1 mission from October 31 to November 14. The successful launch of Falcon 9 rocket on November 5, carrying the previously aborted GPS-3 mission, confirmed that engineers have resolved the issue with Merlin engines and SpaceX is ready for Crew-1 mission. SpaceX needed to make a few tweaks to the Crew Dragon, based on what it had learned from the Demo-2 mission. Perhaps the biggest change was to the spacecraft's heat shield, which keeps the vehicle from overheating as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. SpaceX found that when the Crew Dragon returned in August, some of the tiles in the heat shield had eroded more than the company expected. SpaceX claims the erosion didn't pose any danger to the crew, but the company opted to redesign part of the heat shield tiles. On the launch day, after suiting up in SpaceX's signature white and gray pressure suits, the four astronauts will travel to the launch pad at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, inside two branded white Tesla Model XS. Once out of the cars, they'll take an elevator to the top of the rocket and walk across an enclosed hallway to enter the Crew Dragon, perched on top of the Falcon 9. The four will then get strapped into their seats by the SpaceX team as they wait for the launch. If everything goes as planned, Falcon 9 will lift off from Kennedy Space Center on 14 November 2020. After two minutes into the flight, nine Merlin engines on the first stage of the rocket will shut down and stage separation will take place. Seven minutes later, the first stage of the rocket will then re-enter into the Earth's atmosphere and land on the SpaceX drone ship. In the meantime, the second stage will power the Crew Dragon spacecraft towards the space station before it gets separated from the capsule. The crew will then spend around eight and a half hours in orbit before arriving at the International Space Station. Designed to dock with the space station autonomously, the Crew Dragon will slowly approach its destination in space and use a series of sensors and cameras to place itself on an open docking port. Once it connects, latches will secure the Crew Dragon in place. Later the hatch opens and the four-person team will join three astronauts already living on the space station. The crew will then spend six months on board the station before returning to Earth. So, let us wait to see this historic first operational mission of SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft. In the meantime, do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more space-related content. And as always, thanks for watching.